Well, today is Monday, a new week starts. Uh, it also happens to be the end of the quarter for VAT filing. And so I spent the morning going through my uh, spreadsheets, making sure everything was as right as it was, contacting people, you have any more paperwork, filling all everything out, and then submitting the forms online, and then telling them how much they owed. Now they have to go down to the banks and pay for that. So that was this morning. Uh, it's always a last minute affair here. Bahamians are wonderful people, but they're the world's biggest procrastinators. So anyway, I got it done. I've done my part. Now they have to go and do their paying part. So this afternoon, Sid and I are headed north. We're going to hopefully get some pictures along the way, but the trip is basically to go up to uh, uh, North Luther Shopping Center to get supplies because we're a little low on stuff and we don't have any hamburgers and that's where you get a lot of your better bulk deals so that's a, that's this afternoon and then after that I don't know it's bizarre this is gonna sound bizarre but it's like 78 and breezy and not exactly boiling so I'm not sure if we're gonna get a swim today we'll see Take a look uh, right up ahead and you'll see that the Jersey barriers that were here now down below. Well, we got back from uh, North Luther Shopping Center. Uh, it went well, but unfortunately, we're in the slow time of year, so they didn't have everything that we wanted. Actually, there was a few things we missed, but we got enough to make the trip worthwhile. And in a couple weeks, uh, the tourist season will start again, and they'll have plenty of things to have on hand. But from, I think, 
early summer till almost November, they diminish their stocks a bit because there's just not as many tourists around, so therefore they don't make the sales. I mean, it's logical. I wish it wasn't, especially when we went up there, but uh, uh, with stops and pictures and shopping, it's like a three hour trip from, from Governors to uh, there and back. Still worthwhile. We're having hamburgers, hamburgers for dinner. Not pre-made, but we got a tube, they cut it up, we're gonna have hamburgers. <clears throat> Love hamburgers. Okay, so remember, remember I told you we bought a tube of hamburgers, like 10 pounds of hamburger that comes in this big giant tube. Picture those all stuck together. And next time we'll have them cut up. So this is basically going to be burgers, hopefully, and we'll see what these three burgers turn into after I cook them on the grill. Whether they need to be a little thicker, a little thinner, but next time we'll know and we can have them in because they're frozen. Just cut the tube into slices and we'll have pre-made hamburgers. Of course, if we want to add to them, we'll thaw them and then just add whatever to it and we'll have spiced hamburgers or stuffed hamburgers or meatball. Well, there's our three all 100% hamburger hamburgers cooked. Mm, I think they shrank a little bit, but really not too bad. I thought they were going to be a lot smaller. Now we'll see how they taste. Well, the burger was good. We got a little experimenting with that, but it was good. And to finish off, we're having a little red potato boiled up. That's a treat here. I know you wouldn't think of that, but it is. And that corn, that's a real treat. That sweet corn from this summer that Sid carved off, froze, and brought down here. That's a real treat because this is real sweet. Yeah, that's the first sailboat we've seen this year. Maybe, yeah, I don't know where they're coming from or where they're going. Hopefully they do. What are you talking about? What? Right and round. Hmm? Miss? What do you want? Treats? Okay. 